Hey everybody, end of the year awards are coming up and we're gonna work together to prepare a presentation that Sharon will deliver um, to the parents and students uh, at the end of the year. Um, so how this works, this one is for grades one through four only, kinder and fifth grade have their own ceremonies. But what we need you guys to do is in our Silver Hills Google Classroom, in the classwork, it's at the very top, it says awards for the end of the year. The first thing, um, you'll want to do is fill out the award recipient form. So just clicking on this and then clicking on the form here. What this is, it's just going to be you um, letting Sharon know who your three recipients are and um, just kind of fill out your names. So we know who you are, what your grade is. And um, there's a citizenship award, there's an academic award, and there's also a most improved reward. You're just going to go through, fill out the student's name, two or three sentences about why they're getting it. And that's just going to steer Sharon's presentation. Uh, and this will, uh, what this does is it creates a spreadsheet for her. If you're not familiar with Google Forms, this creates a spreadsheet for her that she can then go through and organize based on the presentation. So she has a way to lead her presentation and the students feel like they've been acknowledged for exactly what they um, have achieved. Okay. After you've done that, uh, the last step, and this is where it's nice that everyone knows how to use Google Slides. It's not like back in the day. Um, is the actual presentation to guide um, the uh, the celebration. So if you click on where it says four through one through four presentation, it's just a brief explanation of how to do it. You're going to click on it. It's going to open up this. This is our presentation. Uh, just a quick video while we get started, and then it runs through the grade levels. Just a quick, um, you know, what we're celebrating. It's going to be brief. It talks about our expectations, and then it just runs through like what these awards are, what we're celebrating. Um, and then just grade, it goes grade level by grade level, classroom by classroom. Um, and what we need you guys to do is you'll notice that like after it says, let's hear for our first grade, there's an intro slide for every grade level. And then each teacher has their own slide. Okay. And what we want you to do is to, you know, customize this slide. You don't have to get too fancy. It's up to you. You can create your own theme based on um, your classroom climate, or if you want to match the, the overall Lego theme, it's up to you. Uh, I've done this in the past with, with other schools, and here's some examples. You can see you can get basic, you know, fancy with fireworks, whatever you want to do uh, that's going to best represent your class. If you had a classroom theme, you may go ahead and use that, you know, demonstrate your classroom theme there, and then try to include student pictures, okay? If you don't have pictures of your students that you can include, um, a good way to get a quick picture is most students have a, a school picture in their in, in grade book. Okay, if you don't like that picture, I believe you can reach out to Tara and she's got a file full of our school pictures and you can reach out there or you can just snap a picture on your phone and put that up there if you want to. Um, yeah, and then just be careful. The biggest mistake that I see teachers make, I don't think people make it much anymore because we've all used this before, is if you're editing wherever there is a box, see this blue box? If I would hit backspace or delete, I'm gonna delete that box, okay? Uh, be just aware of what you're doing because you don't want to ruin someone else's presentation, right? Um, the big mistake that happens a lot is we think that we're working on our slide, but we actually click over here on the left and you see that I have that whole slide highlighted. I may have been working here, but if I hit backspace, boom, that whole slide disappears and then someone's angry because they don't know all the where all the work that they did disappeared to. Um, just be aware, pay attention to what's, what you're doing. You all have your own slide and it works out really, really well. It's a fast way to make sure your students are recognized in a way um, that they're familiar with and they're proud of based on the culture of your classroom and what we should be celebrating. All right, let me know if you have any issues uh, and I'd be more than happy to come help you out, help you out building your own classroom slide.